What is up, guys? Make fuck wrong channel. It's Doctor Senpai here, and uh, I just had a fucking brain fart, whatever the hell that was. But I'm back today with a brand new video. So this video is about the good old TV show that's on the CW, Black Lightning, and whether you should watch it or pass. Kind of, I'm I'm trying this kind of segment type thing for my first impression videos. So, you know, somewhat consistent, uh, my own unique way of doing it, even though it's been probably done before. But, you know, whatever. I want to try it. So, watch your pass. Let's start with uh, Black Lightning. So, I've seen the first three episodes so far of Black, Black Lightning, and I'm going to say it's, it's it's pretty solid, you know? It's, it's pretty solid. I was kind of worried that it was going to be all about social justice. In the superhero world, because we need more of that shit. Because, yes, we need more real-world stuff in our comic book things, because comic book, comic book stuff and TV shows related to that sort of thing is def was definitely not meant to be, you know, an escape from the real world at all. You know, go into a fictional world where that shit just doesn't really matter. It's all about superheroes kicking ass. <laughs> Alright, so... What did I think of the show? I thought it was pretty solid. Not fantastic, not phenomenal, like some people have said. I know a few friends who say it's fucking phenomenal. Rotten Tomatoes say it's 100%. And for Rotten Tomatoes, I don't know. If I was going to rate it percent I'd say it's like, I don't know, like 70, no, probably 80%, 80%. It's pretty solid, you know. Solid and, like, above good. I'd say solid is, like, above good, but not excellent or spectacular and all that so i can I, I don't know i can say i can give my first impressions because of these first three episodes and i'm gonna list out some of the pros so some of the pros are the show is thankfully a lot different than the normal cw superhero shows like the arrowverse shows thank god and thank god it is not fucking canon with those shows at all it's not even in the arrowverse and, you know, rightfully so. The show feels more edgier. It's a lot like Riverdale. Because Riverdale is right now a fucking guilty pleasure. Even though I haven't seen season two. Season one was savage as fuck. But anywho, that may be a video for another, another time. But it's just Black Lightning is very different from the other superhero shows. Where it's, it's more... <laughs> I hate to say this because, you know, a lot of shows claim to be grounded as fuck, woke, and everything, but I, I, I can say, right, the, the show feels a lot more grounded than some of the other ones and not so superhero-y, like, you don't hear the dun 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 or dun 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 or where the fuck Legends of Tomorrow's theme song thing playing nonstop over and over again in the background, you know? It's, it's, it's more, you know dialogue heavy and you know a few other things but you know most of the time it's 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 pretty good it did um the, the effects and everything it doesn't really look that cheesy a lot of people say the costume sucks but i don't think the costume looks that bad really i mean they even showed um if you guys don't know about the black lightning character in the tv show i'm not that big of a reader of him in the comic books i haven't read a lot of black lightning books like barely but i know a little bit about the character to know that, you know, it, they did it pretty well in this show. I'm just going to say that. They did Black Lightning pretty well. I think whoever is playing him, the dude, is pretty solid as him. He's an older superhero, an older guy, you know, like damn near hitting his 50s and shit. He's been retired for a while. He's a high school principal in a mostly black high school, surprisingly. He's like, okay, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Um... And, you know, he used to be a superhero who ran around the streets fighting criminals and keeping the neighborhood safe. And due to unknown reasons, due to a family breakup that happened, he had to quit being a superhero and he focused on, you know, becoming a principal for his two daughters and everything, you know. So it's, it's kind of cool seeing a unique, fresh perspective on some superheroes. Not everyone's exactly young and look like I'm 15 years old and everything. This guy, you know, he, he's been around the block a few times, but he hasn't done it in like 10 years. So he's a little rusty, you know, but he's he's still willing to kick ass, which he does. And I got to say about that, 
the fight choreography from what I've seen so far. The Black Lightning is not that bad at all. Um, it's quite different than some of the CW things where an arrow choreography looks exactly the fucking same. They're in the hallway, they're like, huh, huh. It's all over smacking a dude in the face with a bow and they're doing flip kicks and everything, or they're like turning around and it, it's 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 very basic. Arrow's fight choreography is horrible. While shows like Into the Badlands have incredible fight choreography. But anywho, back to Black Lightning. The choreography is not that bad at fighting. You know, he's very uh, action packed. He's actually willing to let people die, which was kind of funny in like when the beginning in the beginning episode. You know, and the show overall, I guess, feels edgier. I would say it's not. It's it has definitely a different tone than some of the other CW superhero, CW superhero shows, and that's good. And I think most of the characters are pretty great. You know, again, Black Lightning is really good. His family's pretty solid. You know, some of the other characters, they, they, they don't act like they're incredibly unrealistic or, like, a fucking caricature of, like, gangsters and everything. There, there's um, a gang in the show, which is, I guess, our antagonist right now, the 100 gang. They call themselves the 100. And, you know, they, they run around the streets and, you know, they kill a lot of people. There's this whole thing. There's this whole thing, and there's protests, which is not just about the 100, which I still... I'm going to get into the cons about that in a minute. But, you know, it's basically... This gang is getting out of hand. It's messing with um, Black Lightning's high school, so he has to suit up again. He has to fight this gang off, who's being led by Tobias Whale, who is savage as fuck. Uh, okay, let me tell you something. All right, so this t Tobias Whale is like some gangster dude in, in DC Comics again. I think he's mostly a Black Lightning villain too. I haven't really seen much of him, but this dude's savage in the show, okay? He shoots a dude in the shoulder with a fucking harpoon. A fucking harpoon. I'm sorry, that's just gangster as fuck. You know, most gang members are like, yeah, I'm hard as fuck, boy, and I'm just going to shoot you. He, he fucking shoots this dude in the shoulder, in the fucking shoulder with a goddamn harpoon. A fucking harpoon, bro. I'm sorry, that's just savage. Okay? 100% savage. Gangster as fuck. Whatever you say. And he's an albino dude. He's he's like an albino black dude. It's 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 pretty interesting. But yeah. Tobias Whale is pretty good, too. He's pretty intimidating. I wouldn't want to fuck with that guy. So, but the cons, that's pretty much, I guess, where the cons kind of... I mean, the, the, the pros kind of end. Oh, and I like to say the lightning effect, effects look fine. They look realistic to me. You know, really look like shitty CGI, like in some of these other things. Like the flash, the flash lightning looks worse than the black lightning lightning. He shoots out of his fingers, and you know, that's all. But that's pretty much where the pros end. Um, solid characters, um, okay writing. You know, the, like I said, the characters are really good. The dialogue's pretty good, and you know, just the overall tone and feel of the show is just good. Now let's get to the cons. <laughs> oh shit. I might get hate for this from the fucking SJWs. But yes, there's going to be a lot of SJWisms in this. So, thing about Black Lightning, I was afraid it was just going to be 100%, you know, fucking garbage about, ah, politics! Trump is evil! Which, you know, Trump probably isn't a very good president, but. That doesn't mean he's fucking Hitler and everything. It's like, all oh, white people are terrible. And that's not entirely prominent in the show, but unfortunately it goes there about most of the time. That's the only other fucking problem I have with the show. It is very, uh, very, it, it, it likes to hit the political cues and make people stay woke because, you know, everybody needs to be woke when they're watching a superhero show. So yeah, yeah, it's a lot of wokeness happening in this show. Um, they have to have, they, ha they absolutely have to have a lesbian character in the show. Fucking Black Lightning's oldest daughter, who somehow like th th the only problem with some of the characters is like you know some of the things they do is like his daughter is like a teacher and everything in her school, but half the time she's not teaching. So you know she only she's only seen teaching once, I guess. And it's kind of weird, and she has powers, and she's a fucking lesbian. Which is like, ugh, of course. Then she talks about, like, oh, it's life is hard about being a lesbian. Ugh, the world doesn't accept me. When most people just say, cool, fuck whoever you want to fuck. Just don't 
spray it in my face. Say it, don't spray it. <laughs> I guess, so. You know, shit, like, it just has a lot of fucking political and you know, social justice shit. I hate to keep saying SJW, but unfortunately, it, it, it shows a lot of that shit. And, you know, it, it kind of bogs down the show a little bit for me. You know, it's like, really? Did, did, did they have to go there? I mean, the gang violence stuff is fine because, you know, that's not necessarily SJW. You know, that's real shit going on. Most of the time, this gang is pretty uh, hardcore. You know, did they actually kill people on the show? Legitly and everything. Like, shoot a few people. Got shot in the face and everything. Got shot in the body, you know. It's it's rough, but that, that's fine for me. But they, they just have to do a lot of political shit, man. It's just, they have black people, I mean, Black Lives Matter protests in this fucking game, in this show. I, I, I was like, are we over with this, you know? Are we done with the whole Black Lives Matter thing? That was during the Trump campaign, and I guess it translated over here, I guess. You know, it's... Yeah, it's just... It's so... Yeah, it's just so, so much of that kind of bullshit, which is... It's just... Really, man? It's like, yeah, come on. You know, that, that's... That's a ama- I, I don't know. I personally think that's kind of like a major flaw with it. It just... It, it kind of affects the writing in some way. The writing isn't that very good like the first three episodes i've seen it's the show is very dialogue heavy and again the characters are fine but they do some questionable shit like so what happened was they explain black lightning he lost his wife they got divorced and they had to you know separate custody between kids even though they somehow just go back to living with their dad i guess but yeah this thing i've seen it like 50 times already in the show where it's like, oh, the, the, the mom and Black Lightning are like, oh, we're not together anymore, but let's fuck. Like, they're they're always grinding on each other and shit. It's like, are, are you guys divorced or, like, what, what kind of fucking writing is this? You guys keep saying, oh, but we're divorced. We should be doing this, but let's fuck. Let's not. Let's fuck. It's like, I, I, I don't get why th- that doesn't make any sense to me. Why the fuck did you? Just separate anyway if you guys are ready to fuck and everything, you know. It's just kind of weird, you know. It's uh, some really dumb writing choices and everything. Yeah, I felt some sometimes when there, were dial, there was dialogue, and it's, it's not an action, action-heavy show, but when they do action, it's really good. They just don't do enough of it because, you know, CW is going to break the fucking bank and everything. They do anything budget-wise and everything, so it's just... Uh, you know, some parts like that is a mess where they're just non-stop talking back and forth. Like, they switch between the school and then at their home and Black Lightning's doing shit or, like, a flashback. You know, and then you barely have enough time for action, you know, in a one-hour show. And if this continues and they're going to add, and apparently they're going to add um, the oldest daughter who has powers all of a sudden. Which I do know, and that's one thing I do know about Black Lightning is he does have two daughters who get powers, and one of the daughters has powers right now, who's supposed to become Thunder, <laughs> another sidekick hero, and everything. So it's like, okay, this is good, I guess. They're gonna do all that, and just that, that is, I'm gonna fo- actually I'm gonna focus on that subplot a little bit. They have a, a subplot between the three episodes where. She's just running around trying to activate her powers and do some shit and then dealing with her lesbian crisis and all that, which is, you know, annoying most of the time. Like, um, can we get back to the show I was talking about? But yeah, it's just m- m- major flaws like that, I think, with the writing. It's just, it's just I-, I hate it when sh- superhero shows gotta push a political message which is involved in almost every single fucking superhero CW show ever. There's always a gay character. There's always a fucking black character. Has to point out how black they are, and everything. It's just, it's just a lot of shit that, of course, they have to, you know, put into a fucking CW show, which is really annoying, guys. So that's pretty. I guess I'm not really saying they're pet peeves. They're like legitimate complaints because it just, it just kind of bogs down, you know, the other great parts of the show. It's, it's a good show but it's, it just has some really shitty writing point choices and everything which kind of sucks so i don't know honestly that's why it's kind of gotten 
Well, you know what? I'm not going to say 80%, but like a 75%. The, sh- the show's okay. It just doesn't show enough of the other stuff. And, you know, it's just a lot of political messaging, which is just really kind of annoying. I know some people don't really like that. So if you don't like that, prepare for that to be a lot. And if you find out that that's just not your forte, then don't watch it. But otherwise, I'd say, yeah, I'd watch it. You know, I'd give it a shot. It's it's really not that bad. It just has a lot of glaring issues with the political shit and the, you know, I'm not I'm now. Next thing you know, they they may bring in like a fucking transgender character, and you know that's gonna be a fucking nightmare. And everything, but it's otherwise it, it's it's a pretty decent solid show. I I really do consider checking it out on CW. So. Black Lightning, I give it a watch, and uh, but I do have to, I have a warn, but I will warn you if you don't like it, then you easily drop it. I, I, although I, I can see I can see it get sh- I can see that it can get shittier as time goes, cause you know CW they like to milk a fucking show. Speaking of Arrow season six, which I still haven't fucking watched, I will put out um. An impressions and review on Arrow season six when I get around. I'll probably have to wait till it hits Netflix this summer because I just I don't know about you guys. I just don't have enough time to review certain shows and all that. Um, I have been watching The Flash and I will give my thoughts on a few episodes there. And it, that's well past its mid season finale so far, and it's it, that's been doing pretty good. So that's what you guys can expect in the future. But yeah, Black Lightning. I consider watching it. It's not that bad. Um, let me know what you guys let me let me know what you guys think in the com- comments about the show if you've seen it or if you haven't seen it, watch this video, I guess, and go watch it. So yeah, Black Lightning, guys. <laughs> yeah, electricity. That was cringy as fuck.